Let's see new trolley problem that I saw on Twitter. This track stretches on infinitely and there are an infinite, infinite amount of people strapped to it all the way to infinity. On this right track, is this the right track or the left track? On this bottom track, there are 100 people, but they get revived after they die. So they just die infinite an infinite amount of times. They die, they they get run over by the train and the then they- I choose the secret third option and kill everyone forever and always. And then they Before survive it, and then they die the again. Carport. Actually, can I pick people that are already dead? No, these are all alive people. Everyone here is alive is until, they're, until they die. Chat. You numb to the pain, so 100. Assume that when they get regenerated, they get regenerated in perfect form. So, <laughs> so all their nerves and stuff work. You still numb mentally, so basically they don't remember, right? They can see the train coming. <laughs> How the fast do people one. on the top track die? They die when the train runs over them. This one is Hell Torture Machine. And this one is just straight up, you're killing an infinite amount of people. Finite suffering for each individual death, obviously. As in this one, finite suffering. Seems like an easy choice. There is, all right, War there's a machine killing. on the side of this track. There's a machine that has a bunch of test tube babies in it. And once they reach adulthood, Eventually, they you yourself get plopped will down to the onto the track to be killed. That's what happens. In each of these, in each of these, you have the Death Stranding baby. And then each of these Death Stranding babies gets placed onto the infinite death track after they become adults, after they stop being babies. So Who's tying all these kids to the trolley line in the first place? I don't know, he seems like a bad dude though. Yeah, it's all me. What if a baby's an immovable object? I don't think that's how babies work. Which, which feels better? It's called a, it's called a, um, it's called a moral intuition. The term for this is a moral intuition. What's your moral intuition? What's your moral intuition? Would you rather... Damn 100 people to eternal suffering? Or damn an infinite amount of people to one time suffering? I mean... It's both a kind of eternal... Both of these are a kind of eternal suffering. This is distributed eternal suffering. And this is, um... And this is I condensed to eternal suffering. So which sounds better, chat? Convince which sounds better? Hell. How is it different from suffering a serious injury that makes them lose consciousness? Um, because they die. Track should be locked onto the first one and you have to pull for the second. That means you're choosing to torment people. This is the... You have to you have to pull to choose the top track here where you, where you kill an infinite amount of people. How many of you guys are bullied in school? Wait, should I ask that? How many of you guys are bullied in school? Did you know that inaction is a kind of action when someone's getting bullied? <laughs> okay, but... You, you can have... You have chatter. This is chatter. Generic chatter. Getting bullied. Wow, that fucking destroyed. And you have you have um you have another kid saying, Give me your lunch money. Give me your lunch money. And then you can have innocent bystanders who aren't actually innocent. Inaction is generally a less morally condemning action. Why? You can't you can't you can't just let someone take someone else's lunch money. Think of the poor chatters. Think of the poor chatters. What's my favorite type of bullying? My favorite type of bullying? I feel like the most morally acceptable kind of bullying is to just like shun someone. There's this one kid in elementary school or middle school. There's one boy in middle school and he would sit at the back of the class and he would like masturbate in the middle of class <laughs> and everyone avoided him because of that. I feel like it's a valid form of bullying. Shunning, shunning in this one instance is like a super valid form of bullying. Based? What do you mean? He like do this shit He's in the middle smegma. of class, Sorry, I and you could tell because Male. because the class after the students would come in, and then they'd they'd sit at the desk and they'd be like, "Why is the bottom of the desk wet?" The real question <laughs> is, so was he an edger or a gooner? <laughs> Damn, she it's not shunning, he just had so much aura that you can't even approach him. Masturbating in the middle of class is plus 100 aura, right? Plus 1000 aura. He was born before it was accepted. What, gooning? Edging? This is just hell. This is just hell, right? This is just hell. Wait, I need to write hell in red. That's more accurate. Hell. One kid in my high school that put a pen up his asshole in geography and everyone in the class saw. Like... I was homeschooled, like he so yes. he pulled down his pants and he shoved a pen while mooning everyone? Is that what happened? Alright, alright. You know what? We have a benefit. Um, only three people voted yes. Alright, so you guys aren't actually... 
gooners. You, you unfortunately lose a thousand aura, minus one thousand aura, for not being, for not being brave enough to master being class. I mean, I mean, listen, listen to, to each their own. We have four class gooners. What was the? It was four four class gooners. Watch me fart. And the rest are not class door, gooners. Ha -ha. I mean, listen, if you're a class gooner, plus one thousand aura. Your frontal lobe was not developed yet, so... 